Welcome to my homework rewards. Today we're going to work on a force and a truss problem. This is question 521 from Statics and Mechanics and Materials, second edition by Hibbler. So the question asks us to find the force in specific members, EI, which is over here in the truss, and JI. So because we only need the forces in uh, certain members, we're going to use the section of uh, the method of sections. So once we determine where to make that section, we'll draw a free body diagram and solve for any external forces that we may need. And then we'll solve for each of the forces uh, identified here. So the trick to making a section is we want it to go through both of these members. What's gonna happen is that those forces are gonna become external forces to our system. If the whole truss is in equilibrium, then that means we can make a section, we can make a cut, and that section will also be in equilibrium. So what this looks like now is down here. So we have a force Fe, which we'll assume goes this way, force Ij, which goes that way, and Ie going upwards. We've assumed the locations or the directions and based off our algebra, we'll figure out if that is correct or not. So these three forces are the internal forces felt by the members, which become external forces of this cut. You also notice that we have a reaction force here, GY, and we'll start by solving for that. To solve for GY, we'll use the original full truss over here. So this is going to be F, or we'll call it GY. GY is just a reaction in the Y uh, direction. So what we're going to do is, um, because there's also a reaction over here, AY, we can't use the sum of forces in the Y direction because that's two unknowns. So instead, we'll take the moment at A. So sum a moment at A, and we'll take this to be the positive direction. So if you look, if you start at point A and move in that direction, and you go towards this force, it goes the opposite direction. So what that means is that these downward forces are going to cause us to rotate this way, so they'll have a negative moment at A. G, on the other hand, will turn us this way, which is positive. The distance between A to G is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So we have 18 GY. And our negative forces, the 40 Newton force is 3 meters away times 40. The 80 kilonewton one is 6 times 80 and the 50 is 15, minus 15 times 50. And this moment is gonna to equal to zero. Solving for this equation gives GY is equal to 75 kilonewtons. So we use that information down here when we're trying to solve for the other forces, F, I, J, and IE. We'll highlight those to remind us. So now you can see that we we know these two forces which are in the y direction and FIE also goes in the y direction. So if we solve for the sum of forces in the y direction where up is positive, we'll end up with GY minus 50 minus FIE. And that's just one unknown. FIE. Sorry, this should be a plus because that's in the positive direction. So I'll equal zero. And this tells us that FIE 
is negative 25 kilonewtons. What that means is that we actually picked the wrong direction. So this force should actually be going downwards. To figure out if this is in compression or tension, let's consider this is point E and this is point I, and then that's the member. What we're saying is that FIE is going downwards. So there's a downwards force over here. which means the reaction, the actual bar, is going to compress. So up here, the force would be positive at E. So that means this force is in compression. So now that we've solved for FIE, we want to solve for FIJ. You'll notice that we don't know force FE, so we can't use the sum of forces in the x direction. So we'll have to use a moment equation somewhere. There are numerous ways to solve this. Um, you can see online in the free solution a couple different ways to do it. But one way, a little tricky, is to actually take the moment at E. So point E would be somewhere over here. If we take the moment at E, you'll notice that this force goes through it, and this one also goes through it. So what it means is the moment is zero, and that leaves us with just these three forces which are going to contribute. So let's set up this equation. Sum of moment at E, positive direction. Just like before, FGY is going to give us a positive moment, but now it's only a distance of six away. Six times 75 minus three times the 50 Newtons. So at E, if we go this way, the 50 Newtons is going the wrong way. So the 50 Newtons is actually gonna cause this to rotate in this direction. And then Fij is also going to get it, make it rotate in this direction, which is a negative. And the distance between this line of action and point E is the 4 meters over there. So minus 4 times Fij. This is going to equal 0 and implies that Fij is equal to 75 newtons. Now to see if this one is in tension or compression, we have to think of IJ and the actual member. So at I, we have a force going this way, which means that the bar is actually going to be in tension which is the opposite. So there you have it. To recap, we solved for the forces in a truss. Given that we wanted two specific members, forces in EI and JI, we use method of section, where our section goes through those forces. That allows them to become external forces over here and allows us to solve uh, quite easily using the equilibrium equations, sum of forces in the x and y direction, and using some moments. Hope this video was helpful. Remember, you can download the free solution to this video and all the other questions that we've done on myhomeworkrewards.com. You can also pra practice statics questions, um, other math and physics, biology, and English questions by signing up for free at myhomeworkrewards.com, and you'll earn rewards along the way to top brands such as Adidas, Nike, Foot Locker, Garage, and Columbia. Hope this video was helpful. See you at the next video.